Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdale. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! Today I'm going to review the Western Mountaineering Hot Sack Vapor Barrier Liner, or VBL. Is this necessary? What can it do for you? And is it the best one out there? Let's find out. Western Mountaineering Vapor Barrier Liner, or they call it the Hot Sack, is possibly your final answer in extending the warmth of your sleeping bag. I've been to Antarctica, I've been to Greenland, I've been in the Yellowstone in the winter, in crazy, crazy cold conditions. My uh, Western Mountaineering Bison bag is rated to minus 45 degrees, and in early November in Antarctica, I was still cold. I mean, to, so to be cold in that bag, I, I've pushed a Western Mountaineering bags minus 20 or minus 30 degrees colder than that bag, and I was still chilly, so it was probably, I, I don't know, um, let's see, on November 2nd, it was insanely freezing. That bag's minus 40, so it was probably minus 60 degrees at least. I mean, it was mind-blowingly cold. Everything frosted up. So fortunately, I brought this vapor barrier liner. So that... I mean, you might have heard vapor barrier liner. What does that do for you? It's basically a hyper glorified expensive trash bag that you put inside your sleeping bag to give you that final layer of warmth. Now, the thing about these things is that they're, because they're vapor barrier, they, they stop all humidity transfer completely, or at least as completely as it's possible. So, if you've ever used a trash bag as a raincoat or something, you'll notice it keeps the rain off to you, but after a while you get so humid that you're like, man, I'm super steamy. So that's what the vapor barrier does. So a couple of advantages. This thing actually keeps the humidity from your skin entering and your body entering into your down sleeping bag and soaking it in environments like that. But also, You'll notice I'll, I'll fold this guy out, and it it's actually folds out to a complete sleeping bag, essentially. But you'll notice this mylar lining in here. And just like those space and survival bags, this thing will reflect the heat, the infrared radiation from your body back into you, rather than just if you had a regular nylon bag. Now, a regular nylon bag will definitely do the job. But the mylar on here, and you can see I've already kind of worn through it. It's kind of turned red just for my use. But these things are just literally incredible. Now, this is something, too, that uh, I never really thought of, but I recently read on Western Mountaineering's side that, hey, say you're planning to go for a day hike and you know, you're, you're cruising around. Uh, one of the 10 essentials is some, it's either a pack or something to keep you warm at night. Because if you get lost or something happens, and you're out there and you don't have a sleeping bag, you could potentially have a very long and uncomfortable cold night. And the vapor barrier bag is actually an emergency bivy sack. It's definitely a, an emergency item. This is not something I would rely on regularly. But you can, in a pinch, snuggle into this thing, stay warm and survive the night. Because it's a vapor barrier liner bag, it's like sleeping in a trash bag. It is not comfortable at all. But that, that steamy, sort of clammy feeling versus, I don't know, frostbite, freezing to death, or being in Antarctica when it's minus 60 or below degrees. Would you rather and then freeze your feet and not sleep or put, get in this thing and have it be a clammy? Now, <laughs> yeah, tough choice, right? I'm really doing the good sales pitch on here. Uh, by the way, yeah, here you can see a Lens Dew Western Mountaineering there. I do not receive compensation or free bags or anything from Western Mountaineering. I just make these reviews on my own. That way I'm sharing my experience with things I either own or have used with you. So you can get a pretty honest review. Uh, also, if you can take a moment, hit the subscribe button to my channel. And that way you can get the latest updates, reviews, and information about all the things that I share. So let me show you what it's like to wriggle into this thing. Now, this uh, v VBL hot sack does not have a zipper. That would totally defeat the purpose. So you literally 
will wriggle into this bag. And if you're a little claustrophobic, it's going to be kind of exciting. But you literally have to wriggle into this bag. Let me get my paperwork out of the way here. And you will simply wriggle into this. And I keep saying wriggle because that's really what you have to do. And make sure it's over my back. And you simply draw it up around yourself. And you lay down in utter and complete discomfort. Yeah. Now, you can see, let's see where are my feet here. I'm six feet tall. And the, the bag opening is actually quite big. So I'm, I'm already starting to get warm. And this will add, I think they said 10 degrees maybe to your sleeping bag. Maybe in 15. So really this is like having, a, I don't know, maybe a 40, 45 degree sleeping bag. Uh, Western Mountaineering does make a 40 degree bag. It's, it's crazy. But it actually does have a drawstring. So if things are really bad, you can always draw this around your face. And you can, oh, let me see if I can not damage it, but get up here and show you what this is like. So you can draw this around your face and life's going bad and you're lost in the wilderness. You can draw this around your face. You can still breathe. Whew. And now, as soon as I close this up, I'm starting to get warm. The moment I open it up and air it out, oh, yeah. But if you want to warm up, uh, you lose 20 to 25% of the heat from your body and your head. So if you close this around your face, you will start to warm up. And I'll just have to fall over. Ugh. Now, of course, <laughs> I do have to admit, this does look like a body bag, and it kind of is, but fortunately I'm not in the body bag state, so I'm still alive. But this is literally the experience. So I mean, as a pinch, as an emergency shelter, this is really good. Do notice if you're laying on rocks or something, uh, you'll, you'll probably damage this thing. It's not made of ultra heavy fabric. It is made out of ripstop. Oh, too hot, oh, too hot. So this uh, VBL hot sack is definitely a viable option. And I'll show you what it looks like way down there. Literally like that, the whole thing is just that mylar, so it uh, reflects the infrared to you. Whew, boy, that was hot. So just to show you what that looks like in my Western Mountaineering antelope bag, this is a six foot six bag. So this is one of the ways to extend the temperature of your bag a lot without spending more money on a more expensive sleeping bag. Now, it's, it's not a very comfortable way, again, to get around it, but you can see, I can stuff this, let's see, where's the foot area? Yeah, that's the foot area. Stuff this bag all the way down, and it comes all the way up here, and you sleep in it like that, and then you close your sleeping bag, you zip that guy up. Now, of course, you're doing this, and I don't want to do this because it's simply too hot for me. Oops. Of course, I snagged the zipper really good. Typical. Great. <laughs> you know, it's actually easier to zip the sleeping bag zipper when you're inside of the sleeping bag. Huh. Now, I just did a review of the sleeping bag, like, a short time ago. Ah, there we go. Okay, good. Oh, just snagged. I've got some fabric in there. It does happen. So you're going to zip that up. And I'm just not going to get in there because I'm already sweating just from being in there for like a minute or so. And you'll see that that vapor barrier liner is right there and it completely fits inside of a six foot six sleeping bag. Say that all at once. So there you go. The hot sack VBL is definitely a viable option as an emergency shelter or something to extend your sleeping bag. Now, an additional six ounces, that's how much this uh, bag weighs. I just uh, I just weighed the hot sack on this uh, scale here. And that's how much it weighs. So would it be better to get a six ounce heavier sleeping bag? Tough call, really tough call. I, I tend not to use the vapor barrier liner only because it's not terribly comfortable to sleep in. But if you think you're gonna be in a climate where you're going to get your bag all steamy and then you know you can you can do this sort of thing with the vapor barrier liner you know that's definitely an option it's it, it's a more exotic sort of piece of gear but when you go into really really tough climates like the arctic and the antarctic 
you, you gotta have it. It's just a good safety backup device. Also, one of the nice things is it creates its own sack. So instead of having to bring a stuff sack in the foot area, you can actually, let's see if I do this right, you can begin stuffing this thing into itself. It's kind of trippy. You know, you just throw it in your backpack when you're doing a day hike and if something really bad happens, you've got a, a backup shelter that weighs only five ounces or six ounces. It's, uh, it's pretty slick. And then there you go, it just mushes down into a little puck and you're ready to rock whether you're going to the most extreme environments on earth or just hiking around and say, you know, I better bring something because I don't know how many stories I've read in Backpacker, people get lost and they're in trouble. So, highly recommend the Vapor Barrier Liner Sack. I will put links below, hit the little arrow uh, below the video and scroll down. Links below to this on Amazon, to that sleeping bag. Uh, highly recommend it. It's definitely saved my bacon in Antarctica. My name is Aaron Linstow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Please like and comment on my video. Subscribe to the channel. And please support me on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.